From the Mission Director Center at Cape Canaveral, this is Delta Launch Control at T minus 97 minutes, 48 seconds and counting. We are now about to enter the final two hours of the countdown for the launch of NASA's Stereo spacecraft aboard a Boeing Delta II rocket. The launch remains targeted for 8.38 p.m. tonight. There is a 15-minute launch window that extends until 8.53 p.m. This afternoon at 12.50 p.m., the gantry light rotating service structure began to move away from the Delta II vehicle. It was fully retracted in the parked position a half hour later at 1.20 p.m. The call to stations for the launch team to man their consoles was at 5 o'clock this afternoon. The operation to load RP-1, a highly refined kerosene fuel aboard the Delta First Stage, began approximately a half hour ago. And it was completed after loading 9,979 gallons of RP-1, the highly refined kerosene, into the Delta First Stage. The next major activity will be to load liquid oxygen aboard the first stage, which will begin in about a half an hour. We're standing by for the launch weather forecast in preparation for loading the liquid oxygen into the first stage. The nominal start time for LOX loading is 6.48 p.m. That's less than 20 minutes from now. All of the activities that have been going on today have been without any issues or concerns. And we are expecting to have a successful spacecraft separation of stereo from the Delta II vehicle 25 minutes after launch occurs at 8.38 p.m. Once again, we have a 15-minute launch opportunity tonight that closes at 8.53 p.m. 